Hello everyone, this is Dugong or, or, or from Cannabis Gaming here, and I'm here with my first Modern Warfare 3 video. Um, it is a team deathmatch on the map Underground. Uh, I'm using the MP5 submachine gun. Uh, side weapon is the FM69 machine pistol uh, with lethal grenade and concussion grenade. My perks are quick. Pardon me. Slide a hand, quick draw, stalker. And I'm using the support care package with ballistic vest, sand turret, and I believe it is advanced UAV. Um, so, first thing I want to say is that I'm not very. I'm not very too big onto Modern Warfare 3 after playing it for a little while. It's been about a month. And honestly, I'll say a few things before I get into the actual subject at hand is that too much camping, uh, the respawn. Uh, the respawn is just it's garbage like I, I couldn't res I'll respawn like in the middle of something and then I could die and the next one is the hit detection meaning I've heard this being said by everybody it's like when you run behind a corner but then all of a sudden you'll die like that like by the snap of a finger it's like I've seen that happen and it just also, the game is just kind of like an updated version of Call of Duty 4 with, like, Modern Warfare 2 graphics. Yeah. Anyway, it's not the subject at hand. We're not talking about Modern Warfare 3 today. Uh, what we're talking about is handheld systems. And so, over the years, they've released a few handheld systems. They released the Game Boy. Well, first it was the Game Boy, then it was Game Boy Color, and then it was that little Sega handheld. I can't remember what that one was called. Uh, there was the Game Boy Advance SP Advance, and then actually it was the PSP. Then it was the Game Boy SP, and then after it was the Nintendo 3, Nintendo DS. And now, just last year or this year, they just released the Nintendo 3DS. And me being, I'm not a big fan of the uh, the little handheld systems, but you know, I wanted to get something new, wanted to see how it was, and. So a, f a few weeks ago, I actually went and picked up a 3DS, and I was kind of like, "Oh, this is gonna be awesome!" It's and I was kind of blown away with what I was playing with. It was, it was great, you know, like all the button. Well, the, well, first was off. It was just saying the joystick and all the controls, whatnot. Fine, they're functional. They respond well to the games. Uh, the joystick is kind of stiff, but it's very sturdy. So it is a very good joystick for being a little thumb pad. Uh, the buttons on it are kind of like, um, they're a little stiff, but I heard that they um, changed that on the Nintendo DS so that they weren't very plushy and whatnot. But yeah, they're, they're very nice. Um, the, do, the two screens, um, still the same. You got the really small screen, but the screen up top is a little bigger than usual. I can't remember what the, what the size of it was. Um, but the one main thing people want to talk about is the 3D. How's the 3D? It is actually very good for uh, no glasses 3D. For I think they call it optic 3D or something like that. And well, the only problem is is that you have to you can't hold it straight to your face. Trying to do that, you'll strain your eyes out and you can be blind from that. But even then, holding it away, it says you should hold at least 14. 14 something away from your face to actually get the full 3D effect. Honestly, I held it away from my face for like a good five minutes, and no, it's not popping 3D. It's kind of like there's the certain things that'll come out in 3D. Like I got a uh, Zelda uh, Ocarina of Time, and if you are a Nintendo fan, that is a very no-brainer on that one. And um, yeah, like there's like little things that'll come out and pop at you. Like there's like little dust particles or like sword action that will come out and pop at you and whatnot and it, it's great but it's just it's just an eye strainer like I mean I always play with it off just because it just you know I, I don't think I could sit there for like at least two hours on end trying to look at some 3d game so I have to, so I go back to the original 2d and yeah you know it's a very very lovable system little very lovable handheld. I would understand why most people have these. Um, also with the 3DS came with the camera. Um, I didn't really like the picture camera. Like it just 
you know, that little one thing didn't uh, hit me as well as everything else did. But then I just got the firmware update that makes a, a video camera. So now you can record videos with it. And I was like, this is actually very useful. I will probably use this quite often. And which I did. I had a video on my channel saying this is a little update video. And that was using the 3DS camera. It was nice. I I didn't really... um. Well, taking it into like the editing, into my editing software, it didn't sound like um, the microphone's quality was going to be that great. But actually, hearing the video itself, it's not bad. Like it, it's it was kind of up close to my face. So, but yes, overall, the system's great. There's not a big variety of games yet for it, but over the next year in 2012, there's going to be a bunch of releases for it. One's of which I'm excited for, one being Rayman Origins. See, I've heard that game very fun, but again, this is not talking about Rayman Origins, we're talking about 3DS. And so, being, I've never really been a handheld fan, handheld fan, I've always been to the whole core system, like the main system kind of guy. And, you know, it kind of me, eh. I don't know. It, it just, it's one of those things that I kind of had to get used to and had to like, so. But yeah, like, it, it's a fun handheld system. It's great for anybody. I mean, anybody can use it. Like, kid, adult, like, it's wide variety of games that you could just choose from that, from that will suit your interest. And Legend of Zelda's one of mine, like, I played it on the N64. I didn't beat it, though. When I got it, when I played on the N64, I was a youngin'. So, but anyway, guys, enough of me rambling. The video is almost over, so I'm gonna leave it at this. If you have $169, I would recommend picking this up. Or, you know what? It's almost Christmas time. Ask for it from Santa. I'm sure Santa will give it to you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hit the subscribe and the like button, and I'll see. You